Coming up. I started this channel with nothing. Um, eight months down the line and I'm here at 101K. Yes, you've, I've had people share my content. I've had um, bigger YouTubers pull me up. But the truth is, you could even do a collaboration with someone who's big. But if your content isn't good enough, they're just gonna watch that video and disappear. I'm more frightened now than I was when I had nothing. <laughs> I'm telling my story because I'm really hoping that it would inspire somebody. Stick around. Eight months ago, I got in touch with a colleague who had just resigned from my workplace to go full time on YouTube and really to freelance. I phoned him up and said, hey, you know what? Um, I've seen that you've you know, started a YouTube channel. Um, can you help me set up mine? I have a very small space that I'm working with and I'm not sure where to put the camera or what to do. He came on over to the space and helped me set up my camera. All right. So it's still not in frame? Yeah. Still not in frame. It can literally even be here and tilt it up. Yeah, and tilt it up. It's not in frame. Yeah. So yeah, today I was, you know, I was trying to ambush Jessica just to like have a chit chat. So if you are seeing me on her YouTube, and um, Untina Mewaha, and As soon as we put it here, he said that this is the perfect position. Your um, bookshelf, you know, would show up in the shot, and uh, you should be good to go. After that, we did a few trials, and uh, we had a bit of fun. Played a video game where I kicked his behind. And that was the beginning of my journey. It was after that encounter that I put out my very first video, which was um, 10 ways to lose weight without exercise. Um, I had very high expectations for that video. And in fact, a lot of people joined in the um, live premiere. And um, I think up until now, that probably was my highest. I think people, um, were just curious to see what I was going to do on YouTube, coming from mainstream media, and what possibly the options could be. Um, yeah, so they're just mostly curious. I had lot, lots of views on that, um, and I was quite optimistic. That video did just okay. I mean, at that time I had 300 subscribers, and I was... I had started actively putting my um, YouTube channel out on my other social media pages, you know, that had lots of following. For those of you who are like big followers on my channel, um, chances are you've heard me say this, tell my story before. I do think that um, for a lot of us, we wait until um, everything's perfect before we start. But the truth is you just have to press record. You just have to start with what you have. It could be a cell phone. It could be um, whatever it is that you have. Um, just start with it because only when you put that foundation on the ground is when you're able to sort of leverage and build on it into something greater and bigger than yourself. So I'd like to pause for this moment and give a special shout out to my friend. Osei Kwame. He has a channel called Osei Kwame and I'm putting the link below now. You should really check him out. He does some really amazing stuff and uh, he and I have a collabo somewhere in the near future coming up so watch out for that. But you will totally absolutely love his channel. Um, he does some, he's, he's one of the best videographers I know um, in the country so yeah go check him out Osei Kwame. I promise um, you won't be disappointed. You won't. Right, so um, when Osei Kwame came through and helped me set up, the rest was up to me. How to come up with the right content, would people be interested in it? And I still struggle with that, to be honest. Like, I don't have any, um, I mean, I know what I want to do, <laughs> but I, I've never really had any uh, book that I strictly go by um, in terms of when I want to put content together and, and what I want to talk about. It's just random stuff that comes up from time to time and I'd like to talk about everything and share the information that I know you know and that's pretty much 
what I've been doing on this channel. So yeah, that's how my journey started. Um, sometime three months later, my channel got monetized and I remember on the 26th of October, 2020, my channel started getting ads on it and I was totally thrilled. I remember uh, two days after um, the first ad showed on my channel, I was over the moon and I started getting um, a couple of cents trickle into my channel and I was like, whoa, this is so cool. Like just the fact that I was able to make money off um, the internet. I, I thought it, it, it wasn't really something that I considered for the longest time. So to know that I could just put something on the internet and I could make a dollar or 20 cents or 50 cents was, was pretty big for me. So yeah, I mean, channel got monetized and I had one video that started to hit the roof. Currently my most viewed video on the channel yet. Um, if your woman does these, leave her. <laughs> and uh, since then I've seen quite a number of um, the same videos by of course different YouTubers pop up on, um, on, you know, in the search, which is fine. It just means that um, there was something right with that particular topic and no one uh, had thought about it up until that time. So I was excited to be able to be a, a pioneer for that particular topic. Um, it was pretty, it was pretty swell. Anyway, so um, it's been grinding, one grind after the other to, to, you know, I go to work, I work full time as a broadcaster, both on radio and TV and um, how I've managed to put my videos together is I would close work, get home for about six or 7 p.m. and I would switch on this very camera and start talking. <laughs> um, usually I would have a plan, you know, as to what I wanted to talk about. I would record, edit, and if possible, upload before I go to bed. So there've been many nights, to be honest, that I've gone to bed after midnight. Um, but that's my hustle and I embrace it. Plus, I mean, once you start to see that you are getting some growth um, on your channel through subscribers and the number of views are beginning to increase. And of course, uh, the monetary compensation is also getting bigger um, as time goes on. You keep going, you get inspired and you don't stop, you know, so. Um, there was that big video, um, that video that did so well in the first month after I got monetized. Um, and then somewhere in, during Christmas, I got another big video. You know, pretty much every month I've had at least one video that's done really well. And those videos have done nothing but give me more subscribers from all over Africa and even uh, back at home because there are many people who are used to seeing me on mainstream media and do not even know that I have a YouTube channel. I'm hoping to convert all those people over here. Um, so the journey hasn't been easy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, you know, it's easy. Just upload videos and you're good to go. There's a lot that you have to do. And um, I wish that there were people and specifically African YouTubers who were um, teaching this stuff because if you're looking for like proper YouTube tutorials chances are you would bump into like a Caucasian <laughs> or Asian you know just giving you some kind of um, insights into how YouTube works and that kind of thing um, there was nobody really who was owning the space at least not in Ghana so I saw an opportunity there if you're a new YouTuber looking for inspiration I would recommend my YouTube tutorial playlist it's on my channel um, and you know just go in there and binge watch everything i i've done videos on how to grow subscribers what you need to do to optimize your channel and your videos for that matter um, so you can be discovered easily and that kind of thing um how to get subscribers every day and then of course there's the relationship side where i talk about very like controversial stuff and those videos have their own kind of following as well um, i haven't done too much on the fitness side because um i feel like I like to show and not tell um, and I feel like I even though I constantly um, introduce myself as a fitness enthusiast which I actually am I feel like when people look at me they don't see um, an epitome of fitness um, and that's okay 
I'm work in progress. Um, I was there a couple of years ago. I lost my mojo when my mom died and um, I'm hoping to find it back in the coming months. Sometime soon, actually. So yeah, I mean, the journey's been great. I buy this video just letting everybody know that, listen, it is totally possible. You can do it. As you can see, I started this channel with nothing. Um, eight months down the line and I'm here at 101K. Yes, you've, I've had people share my content. I've had um, bigger YouTubers pull me up. But the truth is, you could even do a collaboration with someone who's big. But if your content isn't good enough, they're just gonna watch that video and disappear. You know what I mean? So you need to do your half and then get a boost if the opportunity comes your way. Um, so yeah, you know, to all the new YouTubers out there, for the people who have dreams, for the people who really, really want to do this, I'm here to tell you it's possible. I've done it. I don't think like, oh, I've hit 100K, so yeah, I can rest on my oars, sip, sip on some champagne. Not at all. Um, the work actually begins now. And I'm more frightened now than I was when I had nothing. <laughs> because I feel like there are a lot more people who are going to be looking out for me and watching my content and being a little more critical than they probably would be or should be. Um, I can't experiment as much. <laughs> but yeah, I, one thing I promise you is I'm gonna give off my best. 100K in under a year. Imagine while being five years. I'll come back to this video. I hope I inspired you. My name is Jessica. Do stay tuned to this channel. And don't forget, you can always take a look at the description below. I have lots of information on the gear I use, on my um, podcasts, because I do have a podcast. Um, I'm on Fiverr. If you are looking for professional voiceovers, I can do that for you and so much more. Um, and you can send me an email. My email is no secret. It's Jessica O S G H Y T at gmail.com. So yeah, hit me up and we'll have a chat. Have a good one.